Hey guys, it's Chipsy. There's my dog. <laughs> and today I'm going to be talking about um, the best party games for the Switch Part 2. So I'll leave Part 1 linked down below in case you haven't checked out that video yet. And we'll just get right into it. Alright, so for the first game on my list is Boomerang Foo, and um, this one's just such a fun and addicting party game, very competitive, you literally just get to pick and be uh, some type of fruit or drink object character, and they look so cute, and you literally just try to like kill each other, it's just pretty much like a death match, like Fortnite or whatever, but in a way more cuter term, I guess, with like you know, boomerangs and stuff, you ha you get, um, you unlock power-ups, so sometimes people have, like, three different power-ups that are crazy, and yeah, it's just a really fun and addicting party game, so if you and your friends or family are very competitive and just love, like, non-stop action games, then this is definitely the game for you. Next on the list is Rabbids Party of Legends. And um, this one's a really good one if you are like me and very nostalgic for the Rabbids game on the Wii. That was a like multiplayer or like a party type game. Um, it's not as good as the Wii in my opinion, the Wii one, but um, it's still a pretty good runner up for the Switch. Um, yeah, it has like a really funny goofy storyline to it and you can do story mode or just mini game mode, whatever you feel like with your friends or family. And uh, yeah, they always of course have just really good funny wacky games for the Rabbids. So always a good time with those type of mini games with the rabbits and whatnot so definitely once again recommend if you're into the wacky fun party games with your friends and family the third one on the list for me is run sausage run this is a really nice cheap uh like alternative party game to go with um you literally are just sausages and you can get cute costumes for your sausage or unlock different costumes and you always have to just try to survive the course that you're on with your friends and uh yeah it's really funny another wacky funny one to the list um yeah definitely a good time and like I said luckily it's cheap and it's just simple easy gameplay um I know there's like two different modes to do uh where you all share a screen and there's like a four screen mode um, so yeah, both are fun and just a good time. So just definitely a nice like a game to get when it's like only two bucks on the eShop and uh, just something to pick up and play with some friends. Next on the list is Jackbox Party Pack 8. Um, I just really like this pack because there's just um, more options to play with like up to 10 people, which is nice because usually it's limited to like six or eight players, but some of the games are up to 10, which is like a go like a reason I bought the game um but yeah I really like the games in it there's job job which is like just this funny interviewing type game where you take each other's answers to create um other like other answers it's just kind of hard to explain but I guess it is fun and wacky kind of just like quiplash or something like that um, then there's Pole Mine, which is, um, where you're, you're on teams together and you have to figure out what, like, there's like a pole and you have to figure out which answers are placed as first, second, third, or maybe you have to go backwards and do the eighth answer from the first. Um, so that's kind of like a fun one. I like it. it you would like it if you like espionage on like Party Pack 3 or whichever one that is. Um, just like the statistics type one with polls and whatnot. That's a good one if you like that. Um, there's Drawful, which, but this one's like animated this time with the, your cartoons getting animated and the Wheel of Enormous Proportions, which is just like this really fun trivia game. So that's good if you're into like the trivia ones like Murder Mystery Party, but this one's a more chilled version of that. <laughs> um, and then there's Weapons Drawn, which is just like a whodunit game, who killed the person, you have to figure it out. Um, and yeah, I think that's all of them on that one. So just a nice little variety for the party pack eight. And like I said, some of them are up to like 10 players, which is nice. So just a nice, good variety for a Jackbox game, in my opinion. Uh, I know I'm going to butcher this next game name, so please forgive me, but it's like Taco no Tatsujin Drum and Fun uh, for the Switch. Um, yeah, it's just such a good one for, uh, you know, a party game because it's just like a funny, wacky, you know, Japanese game and you, uh, you know, how there's a lot of cute mini games with it. You can either just do like the music mode or a mini game mode. So there's a few different options there, which is nice. And yeah, I just, just love all the cute little characters and the soundtracks for the game. So definitely a good time if you enjoy your little Japanese cartoons or games and the, there's like an arcade version of it. I got to do it Teco before, so it was just so nice to have for the Switch. So uh, yeah, definitely recommend this one for our party game.
And the last game on my list is The Game of Life 2. This is the most recent party game I got, and I definitely just enjoy it. It's just a nice little nostalgic throwback to when you would play The Game of Life on the like a board game, you know, back in the day in the 2000s. So, um, yeah, it's just a nice little throwback to that, and it's just an easy game to pick up and play, you know, nothing too crazy, no cr too many crazy rules to remember and whatnot. So yeah, if you're just, of course, into the nostalgic game of life, I would definitely recommend this. Just, yeah, an easy party game to play with friends and nothing too difficult to remember for rules and whatnot. So definitely recommend that one as well. And that is all the games on my list for today. So hopefully that gives you some inspo for your next uh, party game to get on the Switch. Um, so I obviously recommend all of them since they're on my list. So um, definitely pick some up to have some fun with your friends and family. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.